What's the good word, Josh? Your boy DKB here. So uh, the New York Jets draft season is officially underway, uh, much like I'm sure plenty of other creators. I'm going to start solely introducing a lot of draft content for us, right? Who's the players to know in the first round? Um, as many offensive line guys as we can really scout and break down. Um, wide receiver weapons, the whole nine, right? There's still a bunch of questions we need to answer this season, though, as well, uh, in terms of planning for the future. Will Robert Sala and Joe Douglas still have a job, right? Will Nathaniel Hackett still be the play caller, not only for the remainder of this season, but moving forward? Will Aaron Rodgers return to the field this year? Uh, if so, can he make it out of this season healthy once again, or will we see him re-aggravate an injury uh, or maybe gain something new behind this offensive line? And speaking of the offensive line, of course, um, can we find a, a combination or at least be able to identify some players that should be here for the long term right now. Um, Joe Tipman, realistically, and you can say Elijah Vera Tucker based on his work when he is healthy, are really the most viable candidates. Everybody else's job is kind of up in the air right now. So maybe one of the rookies can make some noise. Uh, maybe we can continue to see some growth out of Max Mitchell. Who knows? But with that said, let's dive into where the New York Jets are currently at in the draft picture, right? So let's start off with our draft picks. Right now, uh, we still have our first rounder. Uh, we have our, uh, we no longer, excuse me, we no longer have our second round pick. Uh, we know that was the conditional basis uh, with Aaron Rodgers being injured. It went from being a first to a second, so we no longer have that. That's going to the Packers. We have our third rounder. We actually have two fourth rounders, one from the Broncos trade that involved um, Jacob Martin uh, and then our own pick. We don't have anything in the fifth round because we traded that to the Broncos as part of that deal. Um, and then we have a sixth rounder and no seventh rounder. The seventh rounder was uh, sent to the Ravens for the Chuck Clark trade, uh, which we never got to really see him in action for uh, with the early injury. So five picks in total, first, third, two fourths, um, and a sixth round pick for the New York Jets to play with. Hopefully we can try to find a way to uh, trade down get some more options. But with that said, uh, I dropped this video very early. So, you know, I'll try to time mark it and put it somewhere right there for you guys. Um, but the compensatory pick formula, right? It's meant nothing to the New York Jets for a long time because we have habitually needed to be buyers, right? Every team needs to hit free agency for the most part, try to add some talent, try to help shore up some sore spots on the team. Very few guys or very few franchises really end up making minimal moves and trusting what they already have in the building. Uh, but to some degree, you're getting at least one or two players. For the first time in a while, the New York Jets should actually be getting awarded some picks. Uh, so again, in that video, I dropped it. But the highlight essentially is we should be able to get about three picks back. Um, those would be a potential sixth and seventh round selections. Um, and those will be due to Nate Herbig, the guard leaving, quarterback Mike White, and guard Dan Feeney. So, uh, again, you know, it's based on a formula. Nobody quite knows 100%, all that good stuff. But we should at least have three more picks. So right now, you can guesstimate the New York Jets will have before any trades and willing and dealing eight picks to try to replenish this roster with. Um, and the good news is Joe Douglas has actually done a pretty solid job uh, being identified develop quick um, in terms of the later stage guys right the day threes the undrafted free agents all that good stuff so I actually love seeing Joe Douglas have quite a few day three picks to work with we also see him flip those quite a bit for high profile guys um, or at least guys that uh, have a high upside for the team generally veterans that maybe have flamed out in a spot or two um, but Three potential picks coming in there. In terms of our current first round pick, it looks like we are currently slated to have a top 10 pick. Uh, we would pick eighth right now if the draft were to start today. Um, and I don't know if it'll necessarily go any higher, right? We have a lot of two and three win teams that are ahead of us or behind us, depending on how you're looking at it. But um, it'll be tough to envision us leapfrogging them, right? Um, for the Tankathon people, there will be some key games to kind of dictate a lot of that, right? You think about the Commanders uh, who are picking higher than us. You think about the Patriots um, who are picking higher than us. Um, you know, the Bears will be in there twice. We don't play them, but we'll kind of see what happens there. So, uh, 
yeah, most likely will be on the outskirts of a top five pick, uh, which is tough considering you're talking about the team probably not getting another win this season. If they do, the most likely candidate at this point would be the Patriots. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what ultimately happens. But best case scenario, probably a, a sixth or a seventh in the draft. Worst case, we could probably fall to like the, the you know, early teens maybe. Um, but that's essentially where we're at with the draft right now, right? Uh, you know, I'll start diving into some of the mock drafts and stuff that I'm seeing and, uh, you know, giving you guys some feedback on what I see from there. But uh, I'm going to work very, very hard uh, on not being overly critical of this team for some of the next videos I'm going to drop uh, for whatever that ends up being. I got some ideas in the work, but nothing solid just yet. Um, but uh, where was I going with that? I want to work on not being overly critical with the team. This isn't going to switch to me just dropping 100% draft content. Uh, I'll still try to keep track of news as it's coming and going uh, for the remainder of the season. But yeah, you know, to be honest, I throw my hat in, right? I'm waving the white flag. You know, what we've seen this year, it's not even getting close to being arguable at this point is going to end up being one of the worst offenses guaranteed in franchise history. Uh, but in NFL history as a whole, um, it, it's looking like we might rewrite some records there as well. So nonetheless, appreciate you guys sticking with me. Long time no see. The dreads are coming in. So for you guys that seen me uh, for the first time when I actually had them, <laughs> we're finally getting back to that spot. Uh, but appreciate the love. Hope you guys had a good holiday and uh, catch you guys again. Peace.